This is it, the card everyone's waiting for, the MSI GeForce RTX 5060 8GB Gaming OC. It was released today, but I've got it early so you're getting an exclusive first look at what could be the next big leap in budget gaming performance. Just a heads up, as the time we're recording this, Nvidia hasn't released the driver for the RTX 5060 yet. Because of that, the video will split into two parts. In part 1, we'll cover the design and features of the GPU. Once the driver is available, part 2 will focus on the performance benchmarks and the included software. Now, if you're a budget-conscious gamer or just someone looking to get the most value out of your next GPU upgrade, you should stick around. We'll break down what this card brings to the table and whether it might be the right fit for your next build. Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the box? The GPU itself obviously and the manual. Now let's check its physical design. The cooling system features the Stormforce fan, equipped with 7 blades, claw textured edges, and circular arc design that ensures optimal airflow while minimizing noise. Its sleek appearance is enhanced by a holographic MSI logo at the center, adding a nice touch to its appearance. It is mounted on this plastic cover with the unique engravings, and on the side, there is an MSI logo illuminated with RGB lighting adding a vibrant and eye-catching touch. You'll see how great it looks once we install it, so keep watching. It also features a metal backplate with airflow vents and thermal pads, designed for better cooling. The backplate combines with two textures too, brushed metal and a simple matte black finish accented by the MSI Dragon logo. Over here, you'll see that the GPU needs an 8-pin connector, so make sure that your PSU has the appropriate connector before purchasing this GPU. Now for the ports, we have a single HDMI port and three display ports. So you can use this GPU for your multiple monitor setup. I guess that's about it for its physical design. Now let's check out its features. Unlike traditional GPUs that uses the standard fin heatsinks, this one features the Wave Curve 3.0 design. The wave-shaped edges on the heatsink fans are engineered to optimize airflow from the fans, significantly improving the overall cooling efficiency. At the core, a square-shaped heat pipe layout maximizes the contact with the GPU base plate, ensuring optimal thermal transfer. Heat from both GPU and memory is rapidly absorbed by a nickel-plated copper base plate, then efficiently dispersed. Complementing this system is the Zero Frozen technology, which keeps the fans completely still during low load conditions, delivering absolute silence until cooling power is truly needed. When it comes to keeping your components cool and protected, every details matter. High-quality clay-based thermal pads deliver superior heat dissipation, ensuring critical board components stay cool under pressure. Driver MOSFET or what we call DR MOS power stage solutions enhances the power delivery with an impressive efficiency. Also reduce power loss and precise voltage control, a key for a stable performance. And for added protection, Custom PCB features built-in fuses, safeguarding your system from potential electrical damage. Pushing the visual experience, this GPU supports ray tracing. Well, that's very much obvious. It delivers more realistic lighting, reflections, and shadows in supported games. With NVIDIA DLSS, or what we call Deep Learning Super Sampling, you get higher frame rates without sacrificing visual fidelity. Using advanced AI and neural networks, DLSS renders fewer pixels and intelligently upscales the image to deliver smooth, high-resolution gameplay. 
perfect for AAA games. And for competitive gamers, Nvidia Reflex drastically reduces system latency by optimizing communication between the CPU and GPU. This ensures ultra-responsive gameplay, minimizing the delay between your input and the action on your screen. Especially effective when paired with Reflex-compatible monitors and supported games. By the way, if you want to know more detailed specifications, then you can check this out and pause the video. So this is the PC where we are supposed to test the GPU with. It's a full MSI build with the MPG Velox 300R airflow for the PC case, MAG Core Liquid A15 360mm AIO with an i7 14700K which I think it's a bit overkill for the RTX 5060 but it's all we got so this is where we're going to test it with. Now, normally this is where we jump straight to the performance benchmarks and show you how the RTX 5060 stacks up in real-time gaming. But since Nvidia hasn't released the official drivers yet by the time we're making this video, we're going to have to hold off just a little longer. But don't worry, part 2 is coming very soon and in that video we'll be diving deep into the gameplay benchmarks, testing this card across the range of popular titles. To to see exactly what kind of performance you can expect. We will also explore the MSI software that comes with this GPU, including the tools for overclocking, fan tuning, and RGB customization. So if you are curious on how to get the most of your new GPU, you don't want to miss part 2. So subscribe now and click that bell icon so you won't miss it. At the moment, you need to know how to choose the correct PSU for your 50 series GPU. So click the video on your screen to know how. That's it guys, this is Mac, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.